Many of us would be more than happy to have just one of Dr. Mahesh Danji's achievements on our CVs, but he's never been able to satisfy his urge to expand his knowledge and skills. At the same time, he's also quite happy to remain true to his roots, so I went off to find out how he balances his ambitions for the future while finding contentment in the present. Urologist Dr. Mahesh Danji is based in Newcastle, but he performs much of his advanced surgery in Johannesburg. He loves his plane, so he and his wife have become frequent flyers, commuting between the cities with the doctor at the controls. About 90 minutes after taking off, they entered the traffic pattern at Grand Central Airport and a smooth landing brought the flight to a safe conclusion. Zaki was waiting for them in the shadow of the control tower. When I think of robotics, pilots and medicine, I immediately think of an epic sci-fi fantasy where the clock is running out and we have to save planet Earth from a crazy outbreak. So when I heard of a doctor who is also a surgeon and a pilot, I had to find out if he wasn't just a character from a movie. Today I'm super excited to be meeting Dr. Mahesh Danji and his wife who've just landed in Joburg and I'm going to find out the non-fiction version of this story. It is so wonderful to meet the two of you. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you too. That's my wife, Ansia. Lovely to meet you, Zach. You just flew in from Newcastle. Well, it normally takes just over an hour, but today it took us a bit longer. We had very strong headwinds and it was a very bumpy flight. Mahesh, where does your passion for flying come from? I think every young boy has a dream of either being a fireman or a pilot or a racing car driver. And on my 40th birthday, I treated myself and took my first flying lesson. And see, what is it like being able to go anywhere at the drop of a hat? I think the spontaneity suits us perfectly because we are both a very spontaneous couple. In that regard, we love it. So guys, I'm off to freshen up. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Have fun. Okay, my darling. Bye. Bye. Zaki, I've still got time before I have to go and operate. Would you like to come for a flip? That is super scary and yes, please. Come, let's go. Okay, <laughs> right over there. Are you okay? Feeling safe. Perfect, thank you. This is wild, but I am super excited. Takeoff demands the pilot's total concentration, so Zaki waited until they were safely in the air before asking all the questions she had about flying. Mahesh, what does it entail learning to fly? To get your private pilot's license, there's two segments. There's a theory section and a practical section. For the theory section, there's seven to eight different subjects that you need to pass. The subjects include things like principles of flight, aircraft technical in general, air law, meteorology, which is the study of the weather, human performance, which is what happens to the body at high altitude. And then there's the practical section where you physically learn to fly the plane with your instructor. And most importantly, learn all the emergency maneuvers. That was, wow, Mahesh, I can understand why you love that feeling. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope you weren't too scared when we were flying. Not at all. I think it's time for us to get to the hospital, so do you mind if we head off? Let's go. Meanwhile, at the hospital, the members of the operating theatre team were preparing the patient and equipment for the procedure. Dr. Dhanji is one of the very few urologists in the province to be qualified to perform robotic surgery, for which he underwent specialist training in Turkey. The robot itself costs over 25 million rand. Mahesh, what inspired you to go into the field of medicine, or was it a calling for you? Yes, absolutely. Since my high school days, I've wanted to be a doctor. I think I have a natural ability to be, want to be with people, to assist people, and therefore medicine was perhaps just a natural calling for me. You run a very successful practice. What do you attribute this to? I think it's a dedication to patients. You're there to look after patients, heal them, make them better, and oftentimes just to listen to them, and that makes them feel better as well. I think those attributes have contributed to the success of my practice, and obviously hard work and dedication. Your dad was a very successful businessman. What lessons has he passed down to you that you found invaluable? My father remains a perfectionist, even though he's approaching 80. 
and I think he ran his business in that particular way as well. Time management is important, looking after people, meticulous paperwork, those kind of things have contributed to the success of the practice. We're lucky that this patient's given us permission for you to be in theatres. So I'm going to scrub now and if you give me a few minutes, I'll see you inside. While the equipment is high-tech, thorough old-school hygiene is just as important. Mahesh, you're not only a urologist, you're also a certified robotic surgeon. How does robotic surgery work? With a robotic surgery, the surgeon is still 100% in control. What we essentially do is make tiny holes in the patient's abdomen and put instruments through those trocars. Those trocars are then controlled by the surgeon sitting at the console with the fingers and the feet. So the advantages to the patient are numerous. As you can understand, with smaller incisions, there's less pain, quicker recovery, there's no need for a blood transfusion, which was almost commonplace back in the day. There we are, Zakia, we're all done now. Would you say that there's a stigma around men's health? Men in particular are very loath to talk about sexual dysfunction, about prostate disease. They're usually coerced by their partners to go and visit a urologist for a prostate check. All men over 50 years of age should have their prostate glands checked at least once a year by a urologist. How important is early detection? Early detection means that the patient can be potentially cured and they can get on with the rest of their lives without worrying about having had prostate cancer because like most cancers, if detected early, they can be cured. Zakia, I'm going out for lunch with my wife. Would you like to join us? That would be wonderful. It's obvious that Mahesh and Ansia are true soulmates, supporting each other through thick and thin and making the most of life's opportunities. Hello. <laughs> And so you two have a very sweet history. How did you two meet? Well, I was living in Norway for 15 years and uh, I usually paid a visit home once a year. But this time around, my mom grew sick and she had a complicated case of kidney stones. And of course, I, I needed to be with her immediately. So I flew home and that's where I met Mahesh for the first time. Bouncing down the hospital corridors, wearing a very sexy shade of green Crocs. Once I saw him, I realized mom's in very safe hands. When you two aren't in the air, what do you do to stay grounded? We always find that going away for a short while just freshens the mind, recharges the batteries. You come back, have a new zest for taking on whatever life throws at you. What advice do you have for anyone who wants to follow a dream that may seem completely impossible to them? The trick is if one looks at the end result right at the beginning, it might seem unsurmountable, but if you take it in baby steps, nothing in life is impossible. Why did you situate your practice in Newcastle? I grew up in Brits, finished matric there, went to Joburg to study, came back, went to Pretoria to specialize. And when I completed my specialty, my late brother was already an orthopedic surgeon based in Newcastle, and he said there was a niche for a urologist there. What do you two do to celebrate life? We love to have cocktails, watch the sunset on the city of gold. In fact, we're doing that tonight. Why don't you join us and celebrate life along with us? You spoil me. But for now, why don't you join us for something? <laughs> Zaki enjoyed her lunch with a fascinating couple and a few hours later she was off to join them high above the Santon skyline, but this time without any wings being required. Mahesh and Ansia appreciate the value of enjoying the moment. I have never seen Joburg from this perspective. What a wonderful way to end the day. You look spectacular. I think part of keeping up the romance is to dress the part as well. The sun's about to go down. Don't you want to join us to have a look at the sunset? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. That's incredible. It's beautiful. Mahesh and Sia, thank you so much for such an adventurous and passionate day. Thank you, Zach. It's been wonderful. Thank you for having us. Dr. Mahesh Danji is living his life to the fullest and he's helping so many people to do the same. He is a wonderful example of celebrating life and I hope you're taking notes. <laughs>